Tensions had been brewing between the two neighboring nations, Lyrica and Ithoria, for years. Both nations were under the control of a powerful empire that exploited their resources and oppressed their people. In the colonial era town square, representatives from Lyrica and Ithoria engaged in heated debates about their future. The desire for independence was strong, and the call for unity grew louder. The situation escalated when both Lyrica and Ithoria declared their independence from the empire on the same day. The declarations were made during a formal ceremony, with leaders from both nations signing the historic documents. The crowd, a mix of hope and apprehension, watched as their leaders committed to the struggle for freedom. The empire, however, would not let go easily, and war was inevitable. The first battle took place on a vast open field between the two nations. Soldiers from Lyrica and Ithoria clashed with the imperial forces, their courage and determination evident in every move. The battlefield was a scene of chaos, with smoke from cannons and the sound of muskets filling the air. Despite being outnumbered, the warriors of Lyrica and Ithoria fought valiantly, determined to win their freedom. The Empire launched a major offensive against Ithoria's capital, hoping to crush the rebellion quickly. The city was placed under siege, with walls crumbling under the relentless bombardment. The defenders fought desperately to hold their ground, knowing that the fall of the capital would be a devastating blow. The people of Ithoria showed incredible resilience, refusing to surrender despite the overwhelming odds. Both nations turned to guerrilla tactics to combat the empire's superior numbers and firepower. Athorian and Lyrican fighters used their knowledge of the local terrain to launch ambushes and surprise attacks on the imperial troops. The dense forests and rugged mountains became the backdrop for a new kind of warfare, where small, agile groups inflicted significant damage on the enemy. Realizing that unity was their best chance for success, Lyrica and Ithoria formed a formal alliance. The leaders of both nations met and shook hands, a powerful symbol of their commitment to fight together for their independence. Their combined forces, now stronger and more coordinated, prepared for the decisive battles that lay ahead. The turning point came during a crucial battle in the heart of the contested region. The allied forces of Lyrica and Ithoria managed to outmaneuver and overwhelmed the Empire's army. This victory boosted morale and provided the much-needed momentum to push the Imperial forces back. It was a clear sign that the tide was turning in favor of the independence fighters. Amidst the victories, treachery brewed within the Allied forces. A high-ranking officer, swayed by promises of power and wealth, plotted with the Empire. In a dimly lit room, the traitor met with an Imperial officer revealing plans and strategies. This betrayal would lead to a devastating setback for the independence fighters, threatening to unravel their hard-earned progress. The Empire, taking advantage of the betrayal, launched a surprise attack on Lyrica's capital. The city was engulfed in flames, with buildings burning and citizens fleeing in panic. The defenders fought bravely, but the suddenness of the attack left them at a severe disadvantage. The siege became a desperate struggle for survival, with the fate of the nation hanging in the balance. Determined to end the war, the Allied forces launched a full-scale assault on the Imperial stronghold. This final battle was the culmination of years of struggle, sacrifice, and determination. Banners flew high as warriors charged into the fray, their hearts filled with hope and resolve. The clash was fierce and brutal, with both sides fighting with everything they had. Against all odds, the Allied forces emerged victorious. The Imperial stronghold fell, and the leaders of Lyrica and Ithoria stood triumphantly on its steps. Their soldiers cheered, celebrating the hard-won victory. The Empire's grip on their nations was finally broken, and the dream of independence had been realized. With the war over, the leaders of Lyrica and Ithoria signed a treaty, solidifying their alliance and commitment to peace. The backdrop of a united and rebuilt city symbolized the dawn of a new era. The people of both nations looked forward to a future of freedom, prosperity, and cooperation. The scars of war would take time to heal, but the spirit of unity and determination would guide them forward.
The story of the war between Lyrica and Ithoria, fought for their independence, is a testament to the power of unity, resilience, and the unyielding desire for freedom. Through betrayal, sacrifice, and triumph, they forged a new beginning for their people.